Hello YouTube, welcome back to a new video, Taurus here, and today I'm going to be taking you through PSS 101 for abilities. First off, I just want to say, apologies for not uploading this much recently, I've had my GCSEs going on, so, you know, that's that. And, uh, if you want to see another video from me though, just put it down in the comments and I'll be sure to make it once I can. So, number one, what are crew abilities? Well, they're basically something that crew with more than two stars can activate in battle, which you can either do manually or with AI. They are 14 in game right now and they can only be activated once per battle, unless you're in ground combat, in which case you can charge them. So, ground combat. Let's get straight into it. So, number one, abilities must be charged. To use an ability in ground battles, you have to spend one turn to charge them and then another to use them. That means you need two turns in total to use a ground ability. However, once you've charged it, it won't discharge until you use it. Number two, they can be recharged infinitely. You can use abilities as much as you want in ground battles as the crew is still alive. Number three, crew with charged abilities. You can see that a crew has a charged ability because it will have a blinking yellow diamond above its head, as you can see in the photo of attack inside this presentation. Now then, ship battles. How do they work in ship battles? Well, I'm going to be taking you through the most common abilities first, and then later we'll move on to less common abilities. So, ability number one, Rush Command. If you've gotten the ability stat of the crew up to 100, it instantly finishes a room's reload timer. However, if you haven't, it only speeds up the room's reload by a certain percent. For instance, a Viseri Captain with an ability stat of 33 will speed up your room's reload by 33%. It's commonly used on rooms that take a long time to reload or where you want them to reload super quickly, such as the VFR, TLP or the hangar. In ground combat it increases crew speed for 3 turns. Next up, healing rain, heals all friendly crew in a room. It's commonly used on shield, teleport and gunners. Ground combat, it just heals all friendly crew, very similar to how it works in ship battles. Next, urgent repair, instantly repairs a room. If the room is on fire or EMP'd, it removes that effect which is quite good. If you need to quickly unlock your teleport, if you're enemy manages to EMP lock your teleport. Ground combat, it decreases damage one crew takes for three turns. Next ability, critical attack, instantly damages enemy crew. Remember, defending crew ability activates first, so if you're trying to teleport one of your boarders straight into an enemy room and use critical attack on them, if they have a defender in that room, it will activate first. Now, it's commonly used on origin room defenders, since you can just place down an origin room defender in a reactor, runs to a laser, and then if anyone teleports into that origin room, they just run back in, use critical attack, and return to their room. Ground combat, it just deals damage to one enemy crew. Next up, poison gas, very similar to critical attack, except it damages all enemy crew in that room, which means it can be used defensively on enemy shield crew, or to kill reactor campers on your own ship. Ground combat, just damages all enemy crew. So then, next, System Hack. It's the opposite of Rush Command and it just reduces enemy room's reload time. For instance, if an enemy room has done its 3 seconds of reload and it's got a 5 second reload and your system hack has a duration of 7 seconds, it will deduct that 3 seconds and then make the room wait another 4 seconds before it can start reloading again. And now that's quite good if you can get it on the enemy shield, shield battery or teleporter since it's a bit like an EMP lock except last for longer and you don't need to keep shooting missiles at it. Ground combat, it just pauses enemy crew, it's quite similar to cryobast except it only affects one crew. Next, first aid. Similar to healing rain except it only affects the caster. You'll often find this on tanky crews such as borders. In ground combat it heals one friendly crew, however healing rain is better in ground battles since it affects all of your crew and they normally have around the same healing. Ultra Dismantle is the opposite of urgent repair and it instantly damages the enemy's powered room. It's often used on important enemy rooms such as their shield, their shield batteries, teleports or reactors. In ground combat it just increases damage one crew takes for three turns. Arson, it sets the caster's current room on fire instantly. It's often used by crew with fire resistance which is above 100 to heal them while they camp an enemy room. And in ground combat it just sets all enemy crew on fire and deals a small amount of damage. Firewalk, also known as Blaze Walk, leaves a trail of fire behind the caster in friendly and enemy rooms. You can see an example of AI for 
a firewall crew in my AI video. And crew with this ability are often TP'd off your ship immediately since you don't want to be dealing fire damage to your own room. And then you just send them to run around the enemy ship. Again, as I said, you can see an example of AI which does that in my AI video. And in ground combat, it just sets all crew on fire, friendly and enemy crew. Which is, it's only really good if you've got all of your crew with a fire resistance of above 100 because then you can heal them. If not, you just send your own crew on fire which isn't very productive. So, some other abilities, Cryoblast, this is a really good ability, you'll find it on crews such as Misty Seaball, and it just freezes all the enemy crew in the current room. It's commonly used with defenders, and with ground combat it just freezes all enemy crew. Now Cryoblast is quite good, because if your enemy let's say sends three boarders into your reactor, you can instantly send in, like let's say a Misty Seaball, freeze all of their crew and deal free damage. Now Bloodlust, this one isn't very common, but it halves the caster's time to attack when used, it's commonly used by boarders, and in ground combat it's the same, it just doubles the speed of the caster. Stasis shield, uh, quite good, uh, can really help you if you've got a room that's being focus powered. It protects a room from enemy guns and just forces them to retarget and absorbs all damage taken while it's active. However, it does not apply to enemy crew, so if there is an enemy crew in that room, they can still attack that room like normal. In ground combat, it just makes your crew unable to be affected by any ability, friendly, or enemy. Phase Shift. Disables enemy status effects from abilities, have a critical attack, and poison gas still work. It's commonly used on borders to stop defenders' abilities, such as Cryoblast, it means they won't affect you. Ground combat, cast cannot be affected by any ability, friendly, or from an enemy. Now, Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, you know. And if you've got any ideas for what kind of video you want to see next, feel free to drop that down below in the comments.